everybody. Dark Sizzle coming at you. Put in. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple. We're on our flats yacht today in our home waters, which I like to call the Lake Worth Lagoon. And today we have a new moon, which means... Which means we have a lot of water moving. You're going to have more water moving on your current uh, around the moon, the full moon and the new moon. So we're super excited. Yes, we have an outgoing tide. We're here a little later because we're fishing smart today. And I'm excited. This is usually the time of year that we catch big fish, big jack crevals, big snook, occasional tarpon. So I'm excited. We're going to see what happens. We're also trying out this new 360 camera I just bought, guys. It's the Insta360. So uh, check out some of this footage. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more. But uh, we're just going to be experimenting with it and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, let us tell you what you think of the footage overall. <laughs> First fish. We're not having the best of luck out here so far with the outgoing tide. We did a couple of our regular trolling. If you if you actually pay attention to our videos, we do a lot of inshore trolling this time of year, catch big fish, but no avail for us today. So we've got live shrimp. And I just got the first fish of the day, a nice little mangrove. I'm actually not going to touch him. Is that a keeper? I'm just going to flip him off. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, I would say he's nine and a half inches. They got to be 10. She often exaggerates size. No, I'm actually pretty good at size. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, All right, anyway, release the first fish. Good karma. Exactly. We're not going to keep that little guy anyways. But like, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, current doesn't seem to be moving that fast yet. But really uh, weird, really weird. But if you don't see it, you know, that's another good point. Like, I'm just going to take a bit, um, particularly where we are. So if the, you know, the current's not moving, you're not going to be catching any inshore fish, at least not any quality fish. So just keep moving until you find that current. So we're heading north right now, but we're hitting this dock. Same kind of bite. All right. I'm letting him have it. The now he's taking it. Now he's taking it. Now he's taking it. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What do you got? Come on, come on, come on. Get away from the duck! Get the net! Get the net! I don't know what it is, Brian. The net is not ready. Oh my god, it's a ribbon, it's a ribbon, it's a ribbon. All right, all right. <laughs> he was going to the dock, you little sucker. We'll put him in the cooler. Oh, all right. Woo! There he is! That's what was Oh, mine's getting. under. Take mine. Brian's got it. <laughs> doubled up, doubled up. Hurry up, hurry up. All right, put that guy down. Oh yeah, you got a Bob ribbon. Bob under. You got a ribbon, you got a ribbon. Hooked up! He's right here. <laughs> it's another ribbon, 100%. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So we catch these guys on a regular basis this year in 2023. They are just here for good, it seems like. Look at this thing. Darting all over the place. I don't know if you guys can you, see those flashes. Bobby's at the tip, just so you know. Look at that. I know. That's why I don't want to reel up anymore. Well, you can't. All right, double header of the ribbons. That was weird. I got two little really weird bikes. They kind of just grab it and hang on to your shrimp. And then they slowly but surely start swimming away with it. And the other day, we were out here with cameraman Ron, and we lost like 60 or $80 worth of lures <laughs> to these fish. Look at those teeth. They were just cutting us off left and right. And luckily, so far, not one cut off, and they're getting hooked. It's a pretty good sign. His tail is all wrapped in my braid. There we go. All right, I'm going to get these out. These guys are excellent bait. So shiny. Love their colors. Just gorgeous. He was going to the dock. I thought it was like a snook. Yeah, I was hoping it was Something a snook. Something decent, because it was like holding itself down. And then it gave up. Yeah, they don't fight that long. Yeah, they lose their strength quickly. Yeah. Well, we caught those guys. on. We're using our Akuma rod. Dark is sponsored by Akuma, so we're using some more Akuma SRT, inshore elite rods, inshore rods. And uh, Akuma reels, like an Azores, and like a, what's the other one? A Cedros? Yeah, you just caught it on the Cedros. On the Cedros. And inshore, we're starting off with 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's a little shrimp jig. And uh, I just had it on a barber rig, just a simple bobber. And then I, I use the whole shrimp, and she does the half shrimp. I honestly was on my phone, not paying attention. I was too. And the two stroke was so loud that, like, I didn't really, this, this clicker is broken here. So I looked up and I just saw the line screaming out. And I could feel a fish on the end of it. So, spinners don't really have clickers. Well, but like the gears are like, they don't make a loud noise anymore. <laughs> Sour goes to life. Woo! He just pulled hard. What do you got? Might be a big jack. Might be a big jack. I better get ready. Always be trolling. Always be Brian trolling. Brian didn't even want me to have a line out this time. And I was like, oh, I'm putting out at least one. I'm All right, we're going to land them. We're going to let them go though. Yeah, yeah, we're going to let them I go. I have no species, no idea what species this is. So I'm sure it's a blunt nose. It looks like this was just on the bottom. And it kind of just side hooked them. All right, get them right out if you can. Yeah. 
Nice. What species is that? I'm sure it's a blunt nose. It's not. Look at the tail. Totally different. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you the extra I've catch this fish. I may have just snagged this fish today, but still catches fish. Yeah, I just think he was holding bottom, and this lure drags very close to bottom. You can make it drag wherever you want, but I like oh, to have it very close to the bottom. There we go. All right, so we don't, we're not sure what species that is. We usually catch blunt nose rays, but that, that's some sort of skate, I guess, we think. Yes, that's no, that does not look like a blunt nose ray at all. And it's got some dots on it. It's really pretty. Some type of skate. I don't believe there's a stinger either, but we're not going to really play with him. We're just going to let him go. Here we go. Beautiful, went right to the bottom where he should belongs. <laughs> Are right. you ready? I'm ready, I'm sorry. This way. Still look at a nice snooky on. Yeah, perfect hook set on this guy. He's under the boat. Get your rod tip in the water. Get my rod tip out of the water. He's right here. Whoa. Oh, he's got you, good job. <laughs> Grab my lip. All right, let's just flip him. Watch out. Grab my lip. Watch out. Hey. There we go. Got a nice snook right there. Nice clean one. Hook set perfectly. Chill. I think this is a fish Brian had before. Yeah. He got popped by a snook too. Nice. And we're just fishing these rock pilings right behind us. You can see behind me actually. But that's a nice little guy, probably like a 23 incher, another species in the boat. But I think we should move down these rock piles and keep casting on them. Yeah. Because we just spooked the fish on this one. Of course. All right. Let's get some more and let's let them go. Yeah. That's the release you want to do. So cool. So <laughs> cool. All right. Let's get some more. Another species in the boat for me. Yeah, just like we said before, we're looking for current. We came up the river, found some current, and these are the Snook Islands. Um, and I got some great uh, aerial uh, B-roll here. Take a look and a uh, great place to kayak and catch fish. It's awesome, this is old man, kind of man-made, trying to reclaim and create more mangroves uh, that we don't really have enough of here in Lake Worth Lagoon. Right, Sizzle? Yeah, I think let's just start moving down. It's either the current or we got the bikini on now. Isn't that true? That's true. <laughs> it might be the bikini this Lucky time. Lucky bikini. I think That's it is. I always say All right, this. I got a retie. All right. He frayed me. He's playing with it. There he is. Mission. Oh, I feel like I'm getting wrapped in your lines, but that's okay. It's a sheep! Nice job! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! We got dinner! <laughs> so yeah, my too, fine. All right. You're off. Nice job. No, you're not off. You're not Where'd off. you cast that? Right in front of the rocks on yeah. the edge there. Just like, you know, just so I wouldn't get hooked. All right, guys, so we moved to a different rock pile and got the other species now. Now we got dinner, the good old sheep's head, also known as the convict or the fish with human teeth. This guy actually doesn't have a messed up grill. A lot of them do, but they'll, their teeth will all be broken, but it looks his, like horse's his, teeth are... His teeth are better than mine. <laughs> Look, there you guys are. Like, it literally looks like human teeth. Put your teeth. hands on that. Let's it show. literally looks like human teeth. Like There's a tooth growing back right there. There you go. You, you got a little shadow. There you go. Eh. Anyhow, you yeah. guys get that point. Yeah, I get there it. you go. All right, hook set perfect. It's always hard to hook these fish because of their really tough mouths and the crazy human teeth. But this one was hooked perfectly, just pitching a jig really close to this to rock pile, as close as possible without getting hooked, basically, or stuck. Um, so I got lucky on that one. So I'm going to get this out with these Loaia pliers from Smith. They're pretty awesome. What is it? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. That was cool. So Rodney is catching this fish for us, and we've got our Akuma Inshore Elite doubled over, woo, on our Cedros spinning reel right here from Akuma. What do we got? I want to know what this is. Nice jack, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's a nice sheep. Oh my God, Ryan, it's a good grouper. Oh, all right. He is so lit up, he looks like a little sheep. Woo! Another species. He's Come on, big. dude. It's a nice one. Nice little juvenile. All right, 
You're allowed to take the juveniles out of the water real quick to remove the hook. That's exactly what we're going to do. Look how colorful this juvenile Goliath grouper is. Amazing. They're so pretty. Also, not a good sign to see them in shore because they're eating all of our fish. But let's let them go right away. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. They're so powerful. Even the little ones. All right, there he is. Another species. He was mad. <laughs> All right, very pretty cool. Two fish back to back. We got dinner. We got a grouper. Let's see what else we can put in the boat right here. Pretty sweet. I'm going to mention these Goliath groupers. I always see people like holding these Goliath groupers for pictures in, on Facebook and everything. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, the rules say you're supposed to not delay release to take a picture. Same with prohibited species of sharks when you're fishing from the beach. So that's how you do it. Like if you have someone taking pictures while you're doing that, that's fine. I mean, you guys do whatever freak you want, but it's Guggen, I'm telling you. I mean, you. we follow rules and regulations. You guys get mad at us if we catch like or keep a stingray, for instance. There's a whole bunch of mean comments on Instagram about that. But it's like we follow the rules and regulations of what you're supposed to do, and that's end of story. Right. I mean, and fish that we're legally allowed to keep, we're gonna keep. Right, we did not delay the release of that fish no. to take a picture or the video or anything like that. You know, I was videoing while she was <laughs> releasing it. And right, with a ray, and people think of people with, with the rays. Oh, it just went under. Oh my God. And skates, people think like a, you know, every skater ray is a, you know, is a manta ray, you know, sizzle, or spotted yes. endangered ray, or like every shark is a he just pulled white, it right you know, up. the white is a great white. So, you know, there's plenty of fish you can eat. Okay, just follow the rules. That's enough. Fish on. Yeah. I mean, he's a little bigger. Nice. Don't count. Aha. That's pretty cool. A good one. Nice uh, mangrove snapper right there, right? Yeah. Is that a cabrera? No, it that's a mangrove. Yeah. He just looks a little on the skinny side. He's also looks oh, dark. Oh, he's got a bite down here, that heels on his belly. Oh, he's crapping everywhere. Typical. All right, there are fish chewing. I mean, we've got moving current, so we're going to move to some other spots here in a second, but it's a great sign to see. I mean, back to back to back, three different species on shrimp. Pretty cool. I'm gonna let him go. Really? For good luck. Oh my lord. Whoa. Whoa, it's a snook. What? Camera on? Big, yeah, big, everywhere. big flash. Whoa, oh, I just got whacked right here. Holy smokes. I gotta get, I gotta get my sliding barber system back together. I'm filming, I'm filming, I'm filming. You got him. Woo! Whoa. Nice job. They're also pretty today. Ooh, slow down, little baby. Oh, wait, wait, watch those gills. Those are super sharp right there. It's okay. Nice fish. Beautiful. Sun's over here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Killing it. All right. I gotta get my sliding barber system bit back right together. right at the boat. What? I gotta get my sliding barber system back together. Ooh. Get him, Sizzle. Something. I got something. It was swimming this way with the current. The snook sometimes. It was just weird taps. I just let him eat it for a long time there, but we moved our position again. We're just really trying to take advantage of this tide. Ooh, fish is staying down. I like that. But not be a catfish. Don't say that. <laughs> I just loosened the drag too, just in case. Loosened it. I hope it's not gonna be a catfish. Oh yes, it's a black drum. Come on, come on. I knew it, I knew it. You don't know nothing. I knew it. <laughs> nice size. Nice. Uh, how long did it be? I think that's be 12. That's definitely check. big enough. Okay, so. My line was on the bottom and I let that fish eat it and eat it and eat it and I'm now 110% confident I just had a black drum bite prior to this. So we're gonna catch some more. I believe this guy's a keeper, but you can see the stripes on him, the big uglies. He what did you do with his butt? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I guess I reeled him up too fast. No. I don't really know. What did you do to his butt? <laughs> Oh my god. I usually gotta pay extra for that. Yeah. Um, and look at the whiskers on them. They just have like these beards that kind of like hang down, but, and he's croaking. I don't know if you, can you hear that? Yeah. Nice little guy. Yeah. 
I'm gonna double check, put them in the live well real quick, but I believe this guy's gonna keep. Oh, he's definitely 12 inches. Look at my foot. Woo! All right, we gotta get lines right back out because we're coming to the end of our tide and we want yeah. to get more. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. There he is. That was a weird bite. Took it, ran with it, and then I guess it was kind of just sitting there with it in his mouth. Let's see what we got. Probably a catfish. <laughs> it's the lucky bikini. It he's is staying the lucky. down. He's staying down. He's acting like the last fish. That's what catfish do. He's acting like the last fish. Shh, that's what catfish do. No, 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 no. Get the net. I got the net. It's right here. This is a nicer fish. I think it's what we want. Big catfish. Oh, shit. Why you guys say big catfish? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a bigger one. No, it's not. Woo! All right, go ahead and move. Hell yes. Right here, right here, right no, here. No, you got to go come ahead on, and move. Come on, come on. Walk up. The come on, current. come on. Nice fish, Brian. Nice one. Big one. Oh, my Lord. Big one. Up in the head. No, you got to get the head, man. You got to get him upstream with me a little bit. Let's go. Watch out, watch out. Nice one, Brian. I'm putting this down. Come on, Brian. I got to film. I'm filming. Come okay, on. No, no. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you are the queen. What? What? <laughs> this is epic. I told you guys. I told you this is the time of year that we got to come out here and catch inshore fish on the new moon. That's probably my personal best right there. Seven, eight pound black drum. Personal best Palm Beach. Right in yeah. Lake Work Lagoon. Nice. Look at that hook set. This one totally did something different, but I need Brian to fish now because he, he's like just fishing with two rods. We actively have to fish these to catch these guys. Look at beautiful. That. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. I'm so thrilled. They're so tasty. And believe it or not, this size is just perfect eating. They don't have any worms. Yeah. Oh, what a big, gorgeous fish. All right, we're gonna throw them in the well real quick so I can actually do TikTok content if you guys don't follow me. Follow me on TikTok. Well, let's get lines right back out because we got a school of black drum right behind the boat. I'm just putting him in the well, okay? Yeah. We're not down right now. Ready to sizzle? You gotta spray it. You gotta spray it? You gotta clean up the fish. Back at the house, guys. This is going to be a catch, clean, and not cook video. We, uh, we recently cooked these, so that's why we're not cooking them again, but the uh, drum is a beautiful, delicious white fish. I'll wait till Darcy's done hosing it off to go further. So people love drum, it's a delicious white fish. Get out of the way. <laughs> and you can, you can keep it on the, um, you can keep it on a half shell, put it on the barbecue, or you can cook it, uh, cook it right in a pan, like I think I'm gonna probably do later with any of the sauces I've done before. Uh, you can cook it like any snapper, whatever like, you like. Like a red drum, I guess you could say. Yes, <laughs> like, like any drum, right? Like a redfish or a croaker or anything like that. Yeah, and or, I'm just gonna say right now that like we're no experts, like we've only caught a couple of these guys in our home waters, but it's just exciting when you like, when a plan actually comes together and you get on the fish. And I got disappointed because as soon as I caught those fish back to back, the current started dying like crazy. And I was just like, I wish we were there earlier. I could have caught a lot more. <laughs> but you got to count your blessings too at the same time. You can't be upset about that, especially when it's a fish we hardly ever get. Yeah, yeah. you know, the plan really came together. We were talking in the beginning of the video yeah. about how we were hoping the water going to be moving. And so we're hoping to do really well. And, I, you know, we didn't do... You know, I don't know if we did as well as Texas caught in the middle of a great fish, season, though. but we caught a ton of fish. Huge variety of species. Snook and drum and sheep's head. It was really funny that we got on those ribbon fish like the second we started fishing. And like we had just been out the week before with Kevin and Ron and we couldn't get them a ribbon fish all day. Yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, you just got to come back. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Slabbing off this last side here. Nice. Right, so Darcel's using the sizzle knife. You can get it at the Smith's Products store we got the link down the bottom below yes and then also i did bleed these fish a lot of you guys ask what that means yes i believe you can see it right there how i cut the gill plates while that fish was alive and let them kind of bleed out in the well so that's why this meat it just looks so white yeah, and delicious look at that. i mean it probably have a it probably look very similar if i didn't bleed it but in my opinion it definitely helps affect the taste of the fish and i just think overall it's way 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 better to 
bleed a fish if you can. Yeah, we've just been bleeding everything lately, right, Sizzle? I have. And it's been really working out. Yeah, and this is the smallest black drum I've ever caught, which is pretty cool. But I mean, this is a nice sized fish. Look, that's plenty of a fillet to eat. The more they delicious that way. Somebody. Yeah, and we have two of them. This knife is crazy sharp. Of what? course, my uh, dark sizzle knives will be linked down below. They always are when I use them in videos if you guys right. are interested. And then anything you see like on my neck, it's usually something I'm wearing available on my website. I got the sheep's head today. Don't have a black drum, so sheep's head is the closest, but I also did catch a black drum. I mean, sheep's head on our adventure. So no complaints. Yeah. Yeah, guys, get into the season, so please check out Darcy's website, that's sizzleoffshore.com. Yes, and Mother's I, Day is coming. Mother's Day, and so she has all the handmade jewelry she makes. We have the apparel that I'm actually wearing right now and the stuff we wear on the boat. So, and a bunch of other stuff. We got calendars left over, signed 8x10s, all kinds of good stuff on there. So we'd really appreciate uh, you supporting female anglers. There we go. There we go. Yummy. Look at that. Good job. Two. Stand it up like I like. <laughs> this is the new <laughs> Does thing. Does that make her do on Facebook all the time? This is the new thing. Stand Ooh. your fish up. So you can see that you did a good job. Nice. All right. I'm just going to take the same exact knife and start skinning it here. But you guys get the gist. We're going to be eating like kings and queens around here. Too bad I can't give this to the bunnies. <laughs> you got your cats. <laughs> yeah, cats. No, the cat around here, the neighborhood cats feed themselves. They're good. Yeah. They're good. They kill birds on a regular basis. All right. That's about it, guys. Yeah, let's wrap it up, Sizzle. We're not going to keep it on the top shell because, like we always say, we're pretty spoiled, so we always kind of clean up our filet and uh, eat it the way we like it. So, yeah. yeah. But I'm, that's about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it in the pan with some butter. I'm on a diet, of course, doing actually better now. And uh, we'll have some vegetables, and we'll be all set. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us on today's adventure. And until our next one, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Nice.